if I privatize Port Harcourt, Wari, and Kaduna refineries, I will get 10 billion naira, says Atiku Abubakar, the presidential aspirant of the People's Democratic Party, PDP. Hello everyone, welcome to the news. Atiku Abubakar has been going around currently on his campaign tour, which he just finished in Lagos about 48 hours ago, and which also pulled the crowds that he called in, PD in Lagos State, which is predominantly an APC state. You know, considering all the factors of, you know, attending debates right now, presidential debates, and also sharing their thoughts and manifestos for Nigeria, which the only manifesto we've seen as at this moment of this podcast is the one released by Peter Obi, the presidential aspirant of the Labour Party. As we await the manifestos of other presidential candidates, they keep sharing with us the thoughts they have for our country, Nigeria, as a country is at a very, very delicate and venerable state right now because the economy is almost at a standstill. Now let's get into the news. The presidential candidate of the People's Democratic Party, PDP, Alaji Atiku Abubakar, has told his supporters that he can get 10 billion naira if he privatizes some refineries in Nigeria. The former vice president made the statement while he was speaking at the PDP presidential rally, which was held at the Tafawa Balewa Square in Lagos State today. The rally was broadcast by television stations in Nigeria, including Arise TV and AIT. In a rally that was attended by many party dignitaries, including the gubernatorial candidate of the party in Lagos State, Olajide Adediron, and his running mate, Funke Akindele, the presidential candidates made some promises to the crowd that was present. While speaking, Atiku Abubakar, who has formerly been accused of having plans to sell some of Nigeria's assets to his cronies, said that if he is elected president, he will set aside 10 billion naira for small and medium enterprises. He further mentioned that some persons have questioned how he intends to raise such a huge sum and stated that he intends to raise the sum by privatizing some refineries in Nigeria, such as the Port Harcourt Refinery, Wari Refinery, and Kaduna Refinery. According to him, if I privatize Port Harcourt Refinery, Wari Refinery, and Kaduna Refinery, I will get 10 billion naira. Hmm. So this is what he said at the rally he had in Lagos. And anytime, you know, we have this kind of, um, you know, the... The discussions on how to move Nigeria forward of what their plans are for Nigeria as presidential aspirants, it gets the heart of Nigerians palpitating to say, it's like everything is just going to be for sale. And so far so good what has happened to all other federal assets that the government, not just this government, this current government, but government as a whole has privatized in the past. A lot of times we have refineries in Nigeria that are never worked and we keep allocating money budget for them every year. Yet still, at the moment, Nigeria is trying to cope with the price of petroleum product. Right now, there are long queues in the filling stations with black markets all over the place. Some people buy as much as 260 naira per liter, some 300 naira and above, which is way beyond the official rate of 170 naira. And this is just a few weeks to Christmas. In fact, it's about less than two weeks to Christmas. And we don't even know what the fate of the common man is or as the effect is on every other thing. Because, of course, in Nigeria, once the price of fuel goes up, every other thing goes up. And also with the pain borne by Nigerians to be able to move from point A to point B, we have children going to school. We have workers still going to school. We have students, universities who have just resumed and who are trying to meet up for their examinations after being home for almost eight months. And coupled with all of that, it just seems as if governance has gone to sleep in the country as politicians are just very busy about you know what next their lot is going to be for 2023. As we get ready for 2023, as has been said, those who are with their PVC can go to their local government to go and claim their PVC. And as we hope that we are going to make better decisions for next year, 2023, to pick a leader who will genuinely have the interest of Nigeria at heart. Because 
four years or eight years of continuum of this kind of, you know, um, leadership, I'll use the word leadership at the top, will be chronic and chronic suffering for the masses of Nigeria, without meaning to sound pessimistic. But the average man on the street is not smiling. The hunger in the land is undescribable. And we just hope that maybe, just maybe, it will be a time for us to get it right once and for all. What's your opinion about Atiku Abubakar's, you know, thought that he's going to sell the three refineries so that he can raise 10 billion naira for Nigerians? So apart from just telling us how he's going to sell and all of that, what are you going to do? How are you going to affect it? What will the 10 billion naira be used to do? Because we're always hearing, oh, we sold this one or we received the money for selling this one. And that's the end of it. No one is held accountable about how every penny is spent, how it's been spent, what the plans are and all of that. Because, you know, it is what it is. But should we continue like that? Please share your comments in the comment section below. Thank you so much for joining us in the newscast for tonight. We'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.